Good evening everybody, Thursday night again, welcome to my Facebook Live, it's Thursday night with Debbie and I have so much to tell you, it's been a very manic week I have to say that and I uh, don't know where about you guys are but it's been, I wouldn't say gale force winds but we've had a lot of, a lot of rain in the last few days and last night it was gale force winds basically. How is everybody doing? How's your week? Are you looking forward to that date when we are slowly coming out on lockdown? It feels like it's far away, but then it's actually not that far away compar in comparison to how it has been. Uh, tonight's show is all about dimension. Yes, I've got the theme Enchanted Garden and you might see a hint of fairy tale in the background as well. But I've had a couple of requests, so I've been asked to show you how to do a slider card and a corner card so i'm going to be showing you how to do that and you know a little bit of everything now remember these shows are full of inspiration and loads of ideas and if anybody has any questions or queries please let me know i'm going to have a look in the tablet in a second and really this show is for you as much as for me and you know i miss the craft shows where i get to catch up with everybody and see how everybody's been going on and these weekly facebook live shows are just so much fun because the whole world or i should say the whole world is smaller because we we have people from around the world so let's have a look to see who's joined oh my goodness i've already missed loads of people i've got joyce gabrielle jackie i've got roxanne uh from wisconsin well hi roxanne what's the weather over there like i've got chris i've got ada uh, alina hopefully i've said that right i've got jane i've got carol uh jenny i've got janet i've got pauline i've got kim uh who just said just i had an early tea just finishing time can you say hello to my wonderful hubby paul Hello, Paul. Kim says you're wonderful, and I'm sure you are. Uh, and here's a wave as well. Um, I've got Ray just joined us saying, Howdy from Tennessee, late was shampoo and carpets. <laughs> wow. Um, I think it's been a while since I've shampooed my carpet. It's one of those. My mum used to have one of those. Um, I was going to say hoovers, but it's not really a hoover. It's a, it's a cleaning hoover where it actually uh, shampoos and hoovers at the same time. I've got Ellen just joined us. I've got Anne. I've got Linda. Um, I've got Jane. Um, I've got Anne. Uh, Jane says, where can I find February free members code? Really confused. Um, and it should be under the member section. Look for the Facebook live show date and that should match it up. OK, but we'll be going through that later on. And if you do get stuck, ring the office tomorrow. I will show you. I've got Winifred says hello, Heather, Karen, Sue, Zoe. I've got Anne. I've got Susan. I've got Marianne. Um, do you do any new baby cards? Uh, actually, Marianne, um, next week we're going to be doing um, new babies and weddings. So uh, stay tuned till next week. I've got Trina. I've got Gemma. Now, remember, if I haven't said hello to you, just say hello again. And obviously it's going crazy. I've got Sharon. I've got Roseanne, Angela, Julie, Louise. Um, Oh, Carol and Carol just had my cheek, got a bad back. Oh, Carol, I hope you feel better very soon. I've got Trisha says hello. Uh, I've got Lynn says hi, Debbie and Dave. Hope you've had a good day. Louise says hi again. Uh, Anne says she's looking forward to the show. So hopefully, Anne, I can cheer you up. Um, I've got Mary saying, asking how we're doing. Caroline, Karen, Valerie, Victoria. Um, Victoria says, evening or not much crafting for me until I get my new glasses next week. Well, you can be inspired, can't you? I've got Philip says hello and welcome to newcomers as well. Lorraine, I've got Lynn, I've got uh, Fran saying she just finished work. I've got Tina says hello, Kathleen, Sally. Uh, uh, Sally says your wedding CD rom is amazing. Oh, well, just wait to see what's happening next week, Sally. I've got Beryl, I've got Jean, I've got, oh, hopefully I pronounced this right from Canada, Sh Shadia. <laughs> Hopefully I've said that right. I've got Gemma, uh, Violet, Mare, Gil, and oh my goodness, loads of you. Uh, Martha says, I saw a cake card and wondered if you could tell us how to make it. Martha, I'll have to put that on next week because I can show you how to do it. But I, to be honest with you, I'm not ready with it. That's not one of the ones that I'm going to be doing tonight. So I will show you next week, Martha, how to do a cake card. Let me just write that down. Cake card how to so I'll put that in into my demo I've also been asked to show you how to use the pop-up die again so I will be doing that next week as well because that is a brilliant concept for when it comes to baby cards as well as wedding uh, Kim says the honey meadow is gorgeous uh, Tricia and Dorian says hi I've got Noella just joined us I've got Anita 
Um, okay, Anita said she nearly made a mistake of watching an old show. Well, you've got the right one, Anita. Uh, I've got Elizabeth saying hello. I've got Lynn saying it's 73 deg degrees uh, in, um, oh my goodness, North Carolina, and you got your uh, CD. Well done. I've got another Lynn joined us. Uh, Fran says, um, hello, I've got Nicola says, from my bedroom, caught COVID when I was in hospital, so got isolation on my own. Oh, Nicola, oh, well, you keep safe, okay, and keep well, and hopefully I can cheer you up a little bit. You know, you just need to look after yourself and chill and look after you. It's very important that you put your health first. Um, Linda says, can you do a book folding show? I tell you what, Linda, in a couple of weeks, I will put it into one of my demos, okay? Uh, book folding. I'm just going to write this down, so I will do that. Um, then I've got Leslie says, hi, I hope you've had a great week. You and both Dave are well. We're well, thank you. It's just been a little bit manic. Uh, I've got Anna just joined us. I've got Wendy saying, hello, just made my mug arrived safe yesterday. Now sitting with my mint tea in my new mug. You're very welcome. I've got Tina says, hi, Rosina. I've got Ruth. I've just missed somebody else. I've got, do you know, it's gone crazy. I've got Hannah says, um, I've got, Hannah says, <laughs> She hasn't received your raffle prize. Postman hasn't, don't like me. Oh, Hannah. Okay, well, what we'll do is I'll have a look. That's the one that Jill said was sent out. So we would have sent it out by uh, Hermes. So what we'll do is I'll have, I'll get uh, Jill to have a look or Sharon to have a look into that tomorrow and we can see where that is. Okay, uh, because you should have received it. It shouldn't take this long because I think you asked me last week and it was sent on the Wednesday. So that's a week. It shouldn't. I thought the post was OK by now. Um, Debbie says, where are we? Susan says, oh, Debbie, thank you. Kirsty, please. I got my match at Dietary Day. Oh, brilliant. Uh, Genia says, hello. Take me ages to get you online. Not to worry. Here, You're here now. Well, Genia, you haven't missed anything. I'm just saying hello. Facebook has changed. Did you notice that? This week. Oh, my goodness. I went on. Was it Monday? I was so confused. I couldn't figure out where everything is. And I've got to tell you a couple of things about that. Uh, Christian says, sorry, I'm a bit late. I've got Barbara just joined us. Um, Linda says, I received my quotes on Honey Bed all set today. I love them both and made a card already. Oh, Linda, I'm very glad you like that. Um, oh, Noreen says, I received my order from Crate and Craft from the first week in January. Noreen, why? It shouldn't take that long. My goodness. Well, I'm glad you like them and you got them okay. Um, the USB key, Sh Shadia says, don't know where it is. Shadia, if you put Create and Cherish on my website, make sure you're in the right website. It's debbiemoredesigns.com. Okay, so it's a new website. It is on that on the website. It's on promotion at the moment. And what you do is you click into that collection and then you just need to choose whether you want a CD or a USB key and then you'll be able to add it. Um, I've got Jacqueline just joined us. I've got Camilla saying hi to the gang from Ireland. Uh, Trish says my honey medals turned up yesterday. Brilliant. I've got Sarah just joined us. Um, Don said there's issues with the uh, internet, but it's okay now. Well, I hope you're okay. I've got Janet just joined us from North Carolina. Oh my goodness, loads of you. Uh, Adelaide was so excited to receive her goodies today. Brilliant. So we know we're up to, what day are we up to? What day today, Sharon said? Oh, I think it was the 8th or 9th of March. That's not so bad, everybody. We're only a few days behind. So that means all the other, if you bought, if you paid for an order before the 8th, of March. Those orders are now processed. We're just a little bit behind with the admin, so it should be with you very, very soon. Uh, Noel has put my website on, so thank you very much. I've got Louise just join us. Um, I've got Lorraine says hello. Oh my goodness, I've missed loads of a big lot of people. Um, oh, where are we? Nicholas says, got my new magazine, got the new magazine and the Honey Meadow kit. Oh, so it's isolating with you. Well, you're going to love them. Issue 55 is gorgeous, full of spring flowers. It puts a smile on everybody's face, doesn't it? More people have just joined us. Oh, my goodness. It's gone crazy. Um, where are we? Uh, Jean says, um, oh, basically, Jean, the prizes, if you won it two weeks ago, it would be going out this week. We don't process the prizes until the same time we process. So you have to just bear with us. We focus on the orders first and then get the prizes out. So your prizes will be with you very soon. Zoe now organizes the prizes. And as far as I'm aware, it is up to date except for last week's. Okay, so 
Hunter, I should be with you very, very soon. Unless we're still waiting for your address, because I know we are. I've got Gaynor says, uh, <laughs> she got a parcel today with loads of surprises in it. Good to hear. Um, and I've got Jenny says, just open my Art Deco Morgan Honey Metal CD. Brilliant. And yes, I mean, Kristen just said she got the invoice for last week. So we are, Jessica started invoicing today. So for those people that are waiting for your invoices for last week's show, okay those have started being done we've processed them and if you haven't got it yet you'll get it tomorrow so we should be up to date with a lot of things uh i've got delhi just joined us shirley says hello got two parcels today wow shirley that was great wasn't it um Kara says can join you as i can no longer be with grandkids plus having a fiber oh Kara, will take it easy hopefully i can cheer you up uh no, this is I placed my order on the 5th of March, but not received it. Well, it should, well, it's already been processed this week. So, you know, yes, I appreciate post may take a few days. So it should be with you very, very soon. I've got Susan says hello. Um, Karen says the weather is awful here and the Internet's glitchy. Uh, Stella's put, oh, my goodness, I forgot. Well, you made it. We're just catching up with everybody. Uh, Peter says, got two orders arrived today, one from your website and one from Crate and Craft. Lots of goodies. Well, you're going to have loads of fun there, Peter, aren't you? Karen says, sorry, I'm late. You're not late. We're just catching up. And I'm just seeing how everybody is. Um, and I've got, you know, people have gotten their orders, which is brilliant. The like and share for tonight. Now, the like and share for tonight. I did have it. What was I want? Oh, I wanted to talk about dimensional cards or dimensional projects. So please tell me what is your favorite dimensional card okay and i'm going to pick somebody at the end of the show and it's great to see what cards uh people do because to me dimensional there's nothing wrong with doing a square card or uh, an a5 card shape or even an a6 but it is fun to do dimensional don't you think so tell me the like and share for this week and i'm going to pick somebody to win a hundred pounds worth of goodies uh, at the end of the show please tell me what is your favorite dimensional card and if you're just new to dimensional cards just do the one that you know okay uh, for example my favorite dimensional card is side scenes so these are side scenes okay love them I love the wow factor it gives I love the fact it goes flat in the envelope and they're so easy okay because yes I do an awful lot of them but to create this from scratch it is easy so, yes, loads of people putting side scenes or sidestepper. Don't forget to tell me, like, and share. Elaine says she got the mug. Brilliant. Uh, and the die. More people are coming through. <laughs> um, cascades. Oh, that's a good one. Or a Z fold. Yes, Z folds are very good. So, with it com when it comes to dimensional, remember, the beauty about dimensional cards is doing a one that is quick and easy you know when i first started crafting years ago i always used to get confused with dimensional so when i teach now dimensional cards i try to do ones that like stepper cards that you don't need to, you don't need to measure and also like the side scene cards when you do them yourself you don't need to do measuring that so it's gone crazy everybody's liking this year quite a lot of people are going down for rocker cards or the side scene cards that's really handy to use now while you're liking sharing oh Oh, Linda says, can you give correct measurements for side scenes? Linda, okay, now this wasn't planned. I'm going to show you why I can't give you measurements for side scenes, okay? So look, so this is, so don't blink everybody because this is how to do a side scene with no measuring. So I'm just using an A4 piece of card, only piece of card, and it can work with anything. You fold it in half like so. Where's my bone folder? There it is. Oh, by the way, the bone folders are going to be coming in and to stock and something's happened to my, um, hopefully you are still there because it's gone off on my screen. So while it's doing, I've folded this in half and then you do a fold back like this, everybody. So I, hopefully you're with me so far. And then, so that gives you your measurements. So very straightforward, fold over and fold back. Very, then you get a paper trimmer. Don't blink because this is the magic bit. And then all I'm going to do, and Linda, this is why I can't give you a measurement because you can do any size you want, okay? And then I'm going to cut that much off. So you can see if I move this to one side. So I'm just using a paper trimmer. I love, tr I love the paper trimmers rather than guillotines. And watch, so that's it like this. And then all I'm doing is flipping that. Are you with me so far? And then... That is, everybody, how easy 
you do your side seam and you just get some three in one glue put a bit of glue on there like so and then you put a bit of glue on the small tab right everybody so this goes there and this goes on there and that creates your own side seam can you see that everybody how easy was that so Dave is going to fix my tablets to see what everybody questions are asking me but Linda can you see why I can't give you measurements because you know if you really want a measurement to know what this bit is Dave's going to pass me that ruler there we go this width if you really want to know it is a 4.2 but you could do it wider I think I've got another side scene coming up where are we I'm sure I've seen oh there so yes I've got another side scene coming up with a kit can you see so this oh more people are coming in so everybody's liking and sharing thank you everybody so can you see there's a like and share from a kit coming up so you would then just put your own things in so hopefully that makes sense, Linda, how you can do it. Because you can put one at the top if you wanted one. You can have this upside down. You can have things hanging. It's, there's so much you can do with a side seam. Uh, Lynn says, lovely not to have to do any measuring. I totally agree. Uh, Christine loves the, like, the Alice in Wonderland. Yes. And Susan agrees you made it so easy. Well, do you know what, Susan? Crafting is easy. The thing is, is learning the tricks. And this is what I do on Facebook Live. I just share with you, I mean, how long, how old am I now? I'm trying to work out. I started in the crafting industry when I was 18. Okay, so I am teaching you what I've learned over the years, okay, minus those silly mistakes. And one of the things I've found is learning how to do dimensional cards without measuring. Uh, Karen says, you always make things look easy. They are, Karen. Uh, Camilla, oh. So she hasn't received the invoices from the 25th and the 4th of March. Now, Camilla, I know they've been invoiced. Can you please check your spam? Okay, and we'll have a look at that uh, tomorrow and see what's happened to that. Okay, so everybody says brilliant demo. Right, like and share, remember. I've got Helen just joined us. Uh, Joe says really love grotto cards. They really have that wow factor in like and share. That is so true. I do like a grotto card, I have to say. Uh, Anna says, just love your demos. You really inspire. Bless you, Hannah. Thank you. Sorry, Anna. Um, I do like to do different techniques. Mary says, I like all kinds of cards, but love any stepper card. Yes, stepper cards are great. And, and the beauty about the stepper cards is you can move the step without any type of measuring. Uh, so loads of people are liking the show and thank you, you know, talking about Facebook because we've had a couple of things. So I don't know if you've noticed Facebook has changed. So the other thing that I found out this week, so if you've followed the page, it's not so bad, but if you liked my page, you no longer will get notifications. Okay, you now have to like the page. I think you'll be able to, sorry, Dave just re corrected me. No, you used to be able to like a page or follow a page. Facebook have now stopped that and anybody that liked my page before is no longer, what's the word, attached to my page. So you have to now click on follow. Uh, so please make sure if you have a look uh, at the top, you should be able to follow my page and also you should be able to see a little uh, bell on the top right because you might have got notifications before when I'm doing Facebook Live shows, but you won't anymore if you used to just like your page. So the best thing to do if you don't remember, if you like me because you can't remember if you've liked the page or followed it before, just do it again. And then that way you're not going to miss out. Hopefully that makes sense. Jenny's put, what is a grotto card? Oh, Jenny, I'm just trying to think, where would I find a grotto card? Um, I'm going to have to put it on the list. Wow, Jenny, I've got loads of things for next week. So I'm doing a cake card for Martha. I'm going to do pop-up that I've been asked to do. So now I'm going to have to put grotto uh, card on next week as well. Uh, and bless you, you have put demos are inspirational. Oh, thank you. Um, I've got so many messages coming through. Yes, Judy, don't worry. Dave's trying to hunt out where I'd find a grotto card. They would be in fairies, but that's just too hard to find. Uh, I've got them all boxed up, but we'll get it sorted out. Tracy says, good evening. Um, 
I hope you're well. Thank you for joining us. Sarah's actually said, I wondered why I didn't get notified. Notification. That's why, Sarah. Okay. So the best thing, everybody, if you like my shows and don't want to miss out, because I will say I'm really excited. I remember I said I've got loads to tell you this week. I am going to be planning a series, not just Thursdays, of new uh, technique videos and other Facebook Live shows on different elements. Okay. So if you go and have a look at the top right side of your screen, there should be a little bell that you can click on now and that you'll always get a notification when I'm doing a Facebook Live. And also there should be a section around there that you can actually follow the page and then you know that you know that you are going to get all the information and the posts with all the deals that I'm doing. Uh, Tina says, tried to post a card on Facebook yesterday and it wouldn't let me. Don't know about that, Tina. Check that. Um, check if you've already followed me because this has only just happened. So I tried to send a couple of messages to some people and I couldn't even admin my own page it was just ridiculous it, it's just and now it's like it's like when you go from windows 7 to windows 10 you know you don't want to but you're going to have to learn and eventually it'll get better so um just try again tina okay and i'm sure it'll work margaret says margaret says hi Deb and Deb. your week's not been so hard on you and that you're staying safe and well margaret i'm i'm okay it's been a bit hectic um we have had some staffing issues, but we're slowly getting there. Uh, but have you ever had one of those days, or should I say one of those weeks, that you're just going up and down? You know, Monday I felt a little bit low because I just felt like the day was going and I wasn't getting anywhere. You know, I just felt <laughs> I'd wasted a whole day, but I didn't know what I was doing. And I'm better now um, because, not that I'm coming to the end of the week, but I feel more organised and you know, I love this time of year. I love March. Um, I love March and April. I mean, I love all, all seasons, but to me, new beginnings, fresh. I love, I love when uh, you start to get the buds. I love blossom. Uh, it's one of my favourite flowers. Um, <laughs> France, but what? Oda not be able to access. I know, Fran, but it took me a while to figure out that I have to switch, switch sections to go into it. Um, Karen says, I hope it's easier than Windows 10. <laughs> I know, I know. But, you know, the beauty about it, okay, once you start you getting used to it, and this is why I'm saying, I would recommend if you want to follow my page, just click on follow now, just in case you're not too sure, because uh, we've had loads of people uh, that have liked my post the last few days that it says that you're not actually following me. And yet I'm recognised the name from like the last couple of years. So keep an eye out on that. Uh, oh, Susan saw big hooks, you're brilliant. Oh, thank you, Susan. Um, Mary says, uh, hi everybody, just got out of hospital on time for the show. Mary, I hope you're okay. Um, Rolf says, it's a pity the spring flowers don't last as long as summer flowers. I know, but Rolf, that's why I design paper spring flower range because then you can make them. How cool is that? Um, I've got more messages coming from, um, <laughs> Michelle's put rang the bell ready for a few times. Brilliant. Um, and Joyce says never heard of a grotto card. Well, all those people that have never heard of grotto card next week. Okay. I'll hunt out a video. I'll see if I can actually put, we've got, we've done a video. I'll see if I can hunt out a video that I've done on YouTube and put it on there. I've got Janice Noble just joined us. Hi Janice. I've got Christine just joined us as well saying, sorry, I'm late. How do you follow Chris's put? You should be, there should be a section when you look on the screen that says follow. Okay. Um, hopefully it's there. I've got loads more messages coming through. Oh, it's going so quickly. Oh, Camilla says she has got the 25th. It went into spam. Ah, see, Camilla, I told you. We're up to date with all invoices, okay, except for last week's. And even that, a lot of you have already said that you've actually got your invoice from last week. Jessica started doing the invoicing and it'll be continued tomorrow, so you'll get it all by tomorrow. Uh, Trish says, I've been teaching my granddaughter the names of flowers while walking home from school. Oh, that's nice. Caroline just joined us saying hello. Loads of you never heard of a grotto card. Oh my goodness, we're definitely doing a grotto card next week, everybody, because you're going to love it. Um, I don't know if Dave can find the nativity, um, the, the book's over there, so it's in the nativity. Um, I've got, Stella says, what is the bell about? Well, Stella, there should be on your screen on the top right side, hand side, you should see a little bell. What that means is if you click on it, you'll get reminded when I'm doing a Facebook live show. 
okay and you'll get notifications um um oh cara says sheila if you have three dots in the top right corner click on that there. there you go thank you cara um and loads of people yes alison we're trying to see dave's trying to see oh yes they're brilliant give me the other ones as well oh we haven't got the base so everybody these are grotto cards i was trying to find the base now obviously these are christmas but you're going to get the idea and i'm going off the tangent oh debbie says i received my first invoice today oh welcome to our crafting family i'm smiling because uh it is a bit hectic crazy but fun uh but welcome right everybody and um, this is a grotto card as you can see it goes completely flat can you see that and then you open it up and it gives you that grotto there is a base which i need to find now remember this wasn't planned the base goes in the inside and you can then put a tea light in uh, because you can do a gift box with them and you can put a cake in there it is really these are what grotto cards are because you have this lovely dimension can you see that now we we put them on cds and we've done card kits before and we've even done die cuts so with this uh you've got this lovely grotto effect that you can do so hopefully that now gives you an idea of what grotto is um i've got loads of people saying never seen a grotto heard of it but now you can i love that one isn't that lovely with the bird isn't that cool so unfortunately i haven't got the base section but dave's just given me these so to give you an idea and they're great at christmas because you've got that almost tunnel effect um so i will put it on the list oh amanda says i received my prize at the weekend so brilliant so prizes are coming through that's great uh and everybody's now loving grotto cards so next week i'm going to show you how to it's done but i will also hunt out the video and it does look fab uh i don't have a die for it okay because it is very intricate i will put it on my list to plan how's that cara um because you can imagine the die you will be quite big okay so i'd have to look into it um we do give you permission to use our collections of the scanning cut and also these ones i've cut by hand and also hazel's done some of these and she's cut them by hand because they are easy to do because all the lines are on there um oh lynette says my first time hearing and seeing this lovely oh welcome lynette um Everybody now likes grotto cards. Leah says, I did ones with dark knights and dragons for my son. They loved them. Uh, Mandy says, sorry, was just washing. How do you do grotto cards? Mandy, I'm doing it next week because this wasn't planned. Dave's just given me this box, so I'll get it sorted out. And what I'm going to do is look into potentially in the future doing a dive for grotto. But the thing is, the thing is okay, we're only a medium-sized company. And to get a massive dive for a grotto, you know, it might not be ideal. Okay, uh, Rolf says it looks complicated. Rolf, it isn't. I'm going to hunt out. We do have a YouTube video. Uh, actually, Dave might have found it. So he's going to pop it up. So hopefully it'll come up. Um, Angela says, Debbie, can they be cut with a silhouette? Angela, I think so. But I'll be honest with you. I do not know how the silhouette works. So we give you permission to use them with them, so it should be okay. I've got Roberta saying good day all. Robbie says morning Debbie, thank you for so much for the free stamp gift received from the show a few weeks ago. I'm so excited. Oh, a very fast international postage, William. Uh, Robbie, I've missed the end of that, so um, hopefully you didn't ask me a question, and now it's disappeared. So everybody, Dave has just put on a, uh, so look at that link that's coming up, you guide to on YouTube how to do a grotto card but I'm going to show you next week. I've got it on my list. Um, Carrie says, did you do a dragon and wizard collection? I can't find it on your site. No, I did a days of nights, I think, but Cara, that might not be available yet because some of the items, okay, are, you know, you have to appreciate we've gone onto a new website, but not all our stock is back in stock. Um, Lynette says, hello to Sharon. Um, Mary says, oh, your old site, I think there is a PDF. There probably is, but talking about the old site, everybody that has gone onto my old website before, I'm just giving you a heads up to make sure you've downloaded any of your download files because we are slowly closing that down, okay, over the course of the next month or so. So the 
all our new product will be on our new site, which is debbiemoredesigns.com. And, you know, more and more things will be uploaded. I've got Helen just join us. Uh, so late. Hubby's in hospital. Oh, Helen, I, I hope he's well. And hopefully I can take your mind off it for a few hours with some crazy crafting fun. I've got Dawn just joined us uh, and she says she loves the dot, the new members gift from Create Craft. So, yes, I am doing March's members kit for Create and Craft. And um, it's a special one because you've got inspirational quotes. You've got a couple of religious quotes on there, beautiful flowers and a forever code for you to enjoy. So if you're going for that members kit, go for it. Oh, my goodness. There's so much going on. Um, Valerie says, having a sneaky G&T whilst watching. Valerie, I'm so jealous. I gave up alcohol and chocolate for Lent. And according to Dave, I've got three, is it three more weeks? Three more weeks to wait before I can have chocolate and a pink gym. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Yes, Carolyn says you need to go onto the old site, which is why we're leaving it open to enable, we're leaving the old site open to enable you to get your files because once it's down, it's down. We can't what's the word migrate merge the two sites together so but going forward everything's on the new site hopefully that makes sense um jenny says i went on the old site 2012 i first ordered oh jenny that well you're still with me so i must be doing something right you must still enjoy the collections that i keep bringing out i've got yes Fran says welcome to the madness <laughs> Um, we're going to be actually going on to explain how to do um, the show because I've just been told that I've been talking more than longer. Um, everybody says that they've had uh, looked at the new members kit. Um, Linda says, I fell off my computer chair last Sunday and have had paramedics to get me up. I'm all okay, care, just black and blue for the week. Oh my goodness, Linda. Take care. Okay. You know, that sounds like me. I walk into everything. Right. Okay. So, for those people who are new, want to know how I'm doing, um, Pat's was I'm 76 and gave up chocolates and sweeties every year. Because of the age, don't do it now. Um, I don't know, I've missed what I've missed. <laughs> it's gone a bit mental just now. Right, okay. So, everybody, with regard to the show, because then I want to explain it. So, as you can see, we've just been chatting about chocolates, about everything, uh, and the like and share. We do a like and share competition. The show is an interactive show. So I just got this little kind of crib sheet so you can understand how the show works. It's on every Thursday and it's an interactive show. It's an interactive demo and buying show, but you never have to buy unless you want to want it. And how it works is I'm going to show you a product and then next to it, like here, there is a code. It says FB536, tells you what it is, tells you the normal price and what the offer price is. And then what you would need to do, if you want that item, okay, uh, Lynn says, I missed the like and share. Uh, Lynn, tell me what is your favorite dimensional card? This show's on about dimensional. So we people are saying stepper cards or side scenes. My favorite is side scene cards. So with regard to going back to how the show works, everybody, if you wanted this item, all you would need to do is put it into your comment box. And then like Karen's just actually asked for one. Uh, she's actually just wants one of those now. Uh, and what would happen is what is Dawn. Dawn and Karen, I haven't even showed you what it is and you've already ordered it. Um, after the show, it's very important, if you, especially if you're a newbie, can you please, don't put it in this feed, okay? You need to private message me your email address and your postal address so I can send you your invoice and also so I can literally set up your account if you haven't already got an account. And then what I'm going to do is this show is live today, but we leave it open because not everybody can watch it live. And so people leave it, watch it on catch up over the weekend. So it's live until next Monday. And then what will happen is it close it down and we'll send you via email your order confirmation with a payment link. And in it, you can actually add a discount if you've got a discount code. You can even pay by PayPal. You can pay by credit card. You can add something in or you can take it out. Hopefully that makes sense. If anybody has any questions, so if anybody hasn't got the invoice from a few weeks ago, please ring the office. So the office number, and this is very important at the moment because we're still going through all our admin. Uh, it is 01325465049. And then this is my new website, which is www.debbymoredesigns.com. So hopefully everybody's, everybody's ordering this. 
Uh, and I haven't even showed you what it is. Marilyn said, do you remember last week, everybody, I think we had three people that their mugs had smashed. I think, I don't know what Hermes did because they were really were well wrapped and we think they'd just thrown them. But Marilyn's just said that she received her replacement mug and it was nice and safe. I am so glad because, you know, all the years we've been doing mugs, I think we've ever... We've only had a, maybe one mug smashed and then to have in that batch to have three mugs smashed. Uh, but remember, we'll all sort you out. Uh, Tina says, it's so annoying when people order without even seeing what it is first. Doesn't give the rest of us a chance. Tina, I know you put an angry face, but please don't put an angry face because I can tell you that we've got plenty of this stock. OK, we want to everybody. I want to make everybody happy. But the thing about it is, um, I will tell you, I'll give you a heads up when there's an item that is not much stock. This one, um, I want to show you how it is. So this is my owl on a swing. So you will get it. You won't get it painted. My mum painted this for me a few years ago. And I keep it nice and flat just to show you. Look how cool that is. So you will get, <laughs> so this is the, this is the lovely owl swing how cool is that so you are actually going to get the match it sheet so you can actually fussy cut it but this will this is mdf look at that oh no she's you can see that it was mdf oh she's painted the other side there you go that's not been painted so you can see that oh linda said that she got a mug too oh brilliant i'm glad they're coming through uh crafty sammy says i didn't receive my facebook live gift from october 2020 uh sammy <laughs> That is a long, long time. Fancy telling me now, okay? Do me a favour and ring the office and we'll get you sorted out. Karen, yes, it's so cute. I mean, this I do this all day. How cool is that? But look at the price. So the reason why I put this on now, because I forgot to show you this on last week's show. And it is so cute because last week's show was on about owls. So this is why this is on. I could do this all day. <laughs> right. Uh, Cheryl says, hi, Debbie. I'm late joining. Glad to be here. So Cheryl, the like and share for this week, OK, everybody, is uh, dimensional cards. So this show is all about dimensional. So tell me what your favorite dimensional card is. I love side scene cards and I demonstrate how to do your own side scene card out of an ordinary piece of paper with no measuring. I love that. fact. And if you missed that, you need to watch back the beginning later on, not just now. So everybody's going crazy for this. Why wouldn't you? Four ninety nine for this, and obviously I don't supply the string, okay? But I will supply. You'll get the MDF, and you know I just I haven't glued it, so you can see this is how it comes like that, and then you fit it in like so, and then you once it's painted, you fit it in. And I think my mum has painted it with metallic and acrylic. I can't even get that in. Oh, look at that. But you saw it worked a minute ago. I've got it at an angle. There we go. And then you can play to your heart's content. It is adorable, Lynn, and very cute. Uh, loads of people like Sizey Cars. Everybody's liking the share. Don't forget to like and share my page because I want to share inspiration to everybody. Right, now, we're moving on to the next one. And we're sticking with MDF. This one, I just love swirls, everybody. So I thought, I mean quite a lot that you're going to get we all need swirl so this is a really good one uh karen says okay uh your owl collection has inspired me to go on to an owl theme in my kitchen which is why i jumped in when i saw the owl I just love your collection oh thank you karen okay um so what i've got on here is we've got a kit which is mdf butterfly and swirls but look at them so they're great for scrapbooking and i have used it on one as scrapbooking but they're great for card making really good decent one and you're going to get loads loads of different swirls you're going to get a lot of butterflies it is a decent look at the size of it this is my hand it's quite a big kit more butterflies really good sizes remember i showed you last time that you could paint them and put glitter on them you can do different things so this is normally 12.99 this kit and it's only 4.99 pauline says like in the fairy tale cards behind you yes we've got that back in stock pauline so i brought it i thought why not do enchanted garden which is the theme for today and also you know enchantment goes with fairy tale so that's why we have it and yes beryl you can have two sets on there and linda wants two more of the owls well why wouldn't you it is cute and they are big swirls because you've got the choice of doing and what i like about them if you're going for the create and cherish how cool would that be on a memory book 
Do you know what I mean? You can make it into a family swirl tree kind of thing idea. Uh, Linda says, I'm going to put these on my MDF desk. They'll look brilliant. What a brilliant idea. Janet loves easel cards. You know what? They are gorgeous. Twisted easels are one of my favourite easel cards. I should try to do a whole list of different shaped cards for everybody. So I'm going to move on because we now have uh, one of our new items, which is back in stock. And we've got it on limited um, introduction price for everybody. So the next item that we have, I'm just going to do this. There's too many butterflies. It is our, so it comes in three different sections. So we have it in CD. We have it in USB key. So what you're going to get, this was inspired by The Secret Garden. Did anybody see the remake? I think it was on over Christmas. Um, I love the colours, but I thought the original one, <laughs> I like the original one better. So what we have is we have, so this is, I've got two lots of kits. So this is to show you some lovely, so we've got lovely enchantment cards. This is showing you this. Um, I've got more messages through. If anybody has any questions, if I haven't asked, answer, or should I say, I haven't read your message out, let me know. If anybody bought the quilling tool last time, you can create these lovely flowers so you can have the flowers growing out. It really is great. And how this put, you can never have too many store, uh, too many butterflies. Totally agree. Sharon Allen loves the secret garden as well. It is lovely. Um, so as you can see, we've used the actual quilling tool to make this. But because it's a secret garden, how cool is that for a card? Who made this? I think one of my design teams made this for me. And she's actually got one of these lovely dies and you open it up and there you go into the garden. Trina says she has the CD. It's lovely. Betty says, oops, I forgot it was Thursday. Hi, Debbie and Dave. Hi, Betty. You might have to watch back, but I, what I'll do is I'll recap in a second. This is also one of my favourites. So you've got this lovely little sneaky book. You open it up and open it up like so and how gorgeous is that Carolyn says is the CD available on download from the site not at the moment Carolyn okay but we are trying to look into doing uh, more collections as additional so just bear with us okay and then we have got you can do big cards this is actually done by Jessica I think she's now uh, I'm not too sure I think she's now 13 uh, she started making cards for me when she was nine. So, um, Jessica, if, you, if you're watching, I'm sorry if I've got your date wrong. My years just merge into each other. So this is great. Uh, Susan said it's blurred. I can't make out the numbers. So, Susan, so it's FB538, okay, is a CD. Normally $12.99, this is the price I've gone. That is brilliant. And if you want the USB key, $14.99, and it's $9.99. Um, so, um Michelle says the US <coughs> excuse me the USB key is lovely. <coughs> I just think I've choked on my own hair there. Um, um what else have much? I've got Rachel just saying hi. Uh Anne says Hal, have to watch back. I nearly forgot it was Thursday. Well, I'll quickly show you what I've missed while I'll get a drink because I feel like I'm going to choke again. You know when you try to stop talk uh well, sorry, stop talking, stop coughing. <laughs> When you stop try to stop coughing, it makes it worse, doesn't it? Have you ever had that? And look, um, look what I've been given. Sharon's made me a drink of coffee in one of my favourite mugs. Oh my goodness, that is better. Yes, Christine, here's my tea. Sharon had made it, but Dave left it right out of reach, so he was quite happy watching me choke. <laughs> okay, I need a cup, and it's there. Um, Karen says, I have one earbud in listening. Even on my birthday, I can't miss you. Oh, Karen, you should be celebrating your birthday, but bless you. Hopefully, I can inspire you to do some crafting. So for those people uh, that have missed what I showed you, just to move that before I show you the next item. So this was, this is what I've just done. Okay, the CD and you were speaking for the Enchanted Garden. But this was... The one I forgot to show you last week because it was at the end of the show. How cool is that? Normally $12.99, only $4.99. And you won't get the actual string, but you'll get the match it sheet and you'll get the MDF. And that's the other one that you missed was MDF. All these swirls, butterflies, loads and loads, loads of MDF. So they're the two items that you missed. Uh, so there you go. Just move that over the second. Ray says, just too cute, honestly. It is really, really cute. Um, I am going to move that out of the way. So 
Remember I told you it's all about dimensional. So this MDF, these swirls, you just add dimensional to your card, you colour them, you paint them in. You can actually put metal magic on them. You can put embossing powder on them. You can paint them. And the same with this. This is totally, totally dimensional. It's great fun. So I'm going to move that out the way. Um, and then put it to one side. And then, then this is where we are. So then we've got this lovely enchanted feel. But I do like to do card kits. So for people who love the garden feel, because we're going to do one of these dimensionals, we have this lovely kit that I'm going to show you. Let's move this out the way. Uh, Mary says, when is it your birthday, Debbie, and also Dave's birthday? Well, Mary, my birthday is on the 30th of May and Dave's birthday on the 4th of July. I'll never miss forget Dave's birthday. It's independence. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we kind of try and make jokes of that. Okay, so, um, Kara says, how come it's £7 off the CD but only £5 off the USB key? Because, Kara, it costs more money for a USB key. But it's still a promotion, okay, because these will go back into stock. These, are, these have not been in stock for two years, okay? Uh, right. I'm going to move this to one side. Oh, apparently my birthday is on the same as Louise's son birthday. So this is the card kit. Now, yours will come on 250 GSM. This is my sample kit. Um, and as you can see, look, this has side scenes, okay? I don't know what I've done with the other ones. I think the one behind me. So you've got different ones there. I love the fact that you can create almost like a garden shed sign scene. And then what we have on here um we have a lovely card and shed this is so fun okay so it's i'm going to talk to you about this in a second because you can create this technique with any shape so this is fb540 now this will normally be 22.98 because not only do you get all these sheets that i'm going to show you it comes with a forever code which never ever runs out okay um <laughs> everybody said Dave's birthday is the same day as the wedding anniversary and somebody just said that their husband's birthday is on the same day. Well, there we go. Um, so when it comes, I'll just show you this. It comes with instructions. So there you can see you're going to get this. You can fussy cut it out. Look how gorgeous this is. So there's a side scene. It's got text show you the little picture there of how to do that. I'm going to move that. Dinah says, sorry, I'm late. Sorry, Dinah. Um, you'll have to do a catch up so you can see what you've missed because I did. Um, we've been going a bit. I've got, as you can see on here, you've got more side scenes because I just adore side scenes. You've got shape cards. You've got the uh, elements to do a secret box in here. This is a corner card and I'm going to demonstrate this in a second, show you how to do the corner card. You've got beautiful sentiments. You've also got, because I love this card, you create your own flowers. So you do roll these up using a quilling tool. Okay, or you can use the end of a pencil if you want. And you can then make your own vase of flowers. It's gorgeous. Oh, Glennis says I'm freezing again, Debbie. It could be the weather, Glennis, because it's really windy outside at the moment. So as you can see, these are the flowers. You make them up and you create some beautiful dimension. And then what I've got as I keep on going, we have got more backing papers. Okay, the instructions on how you create different things. So you can see on there. Okay, it'll come with a forever code. And then you've got the corner card. Uh, Pony says, hi, Debbie and Dave. Sorry I'm late. I'll have to watch catch up with what I've missed. Yes, well, that was just the card kit. And I'm going to now show you how to do a corner card. Tonight's show is all about dimension. Carol Jane says, also, sorry I'm late. Um, yes, don't worry, Carol Jane. You'll have to probably watch and catch up again. Uh, tonight's show is all about dimension and sharing with you how easy it is. So remember, I've shown you how to do a side scene. And I am going to do a corner card. And Dave's going to pass me one that we did on Alice. And I think there's a corner card up there that is, not Alice, on Journey to Wonderland on nativity because i don't know what i've done with the sample for tonight but we'll make it so the idea of a card so this is one from the nativity range because you can then send it to somebody and put it in the box obviously we're not doing nativity but then you've also got different themes i do it all the time the beauty about it look how flat it goes everybody so you've got that option so i'm going to show you how to do that um Sarah says, I love the shed. Well, I'm going to talk to that in a second, explain about it. And Louise says, corner cards sound interesting. They are so much fun. Under all this, 
it was organized i have got these all cut out oh there we go because somebody's asked me to do a slider card so i'm going to be showing you how to do a slider card as well in today's show because these are techniques that you can take the idea and then do your own do you know what i mean we design specific corner cards we design specific slider cards but nine times out of ten you can take that idea and use it with your existing themes and this is what's great about these Facebook lives it's all about the inspiration and how easy it is to create these wow factor cards there's nothing wrong with a square card or uh, an A5 or large card but it is a fun to do something with a, that wow factor that people haven't seen before I've got loads more messages coming up Jill says thank you for cheering me up Thursday Debbie you are such an inspiration and so generous bless you Jill well hopefully I can cheer you up a little bit I've got loads more fun uh, to show with you and we're going to now do a corner card right okay so in that kit which is this kit here you got now to do a corner card you need three sheets now remember when you get your kit home yours will be printed on 250 GSM uh, I don't know what I've done with the other sheet it's in there but the idea is you print it out sorry yours will be pre-printed but then you'll have the forever code which means you can create these to your heart's content oh i'll look for it in a second so as you can see this is i've had to go with pink everybody so as you can see we have even got on here you've got the base you've got instructions you've got all the elements we give you more you've even got spare tabs got loads of dimension and then what i'm going to do is glennis says i haven't had my invoice for last week glennis we're still working through it some of them went out today and the rest will be going out tomorrow so when it comes to this everybody you'll see it says left side right side and this is how easy you do okay you literally now you can use a scoreboard i love using my paper trimmer i love to multitask can you see this lovely you've got this line along here so all i'm going to do is this is broken line so if you see anything that says broken line or has broken lines on it means you have to score so all i'm doing is take an embossing tool like so and you just score along there and what that does you can see it on that side i don't know if you can can you see it puts a ridge on which means i can now get my bone fold and this is all this is how i would recommend you do it so once you scored help it along like so and then use your bone folder and push it over always bring it for forwards when you're actually scoring and now to do the other side do exactly the same thing everybody line it up like so okay when you're happy with it that you've got it lined up then you actually use your embossing tool and just score along like so and do exactly the same right okay if i missed anything please just ask me again um i, I missed um lorraine unfortunately they're not in stock yet i even rang them two days ago they're waiting from stock from brussels okay so you're asking about the score is it going to be back in stock okay so then what i'm going to do here so i've actually put this here and this is here so you can see how easy it was to score then it tells you to score the right side so you repeat the same process my top tip is when it comes to things like this always do the scoring all together so you do all your cutting and then you do all your scoring that's how i always do it so this is from this kit that i'm doing that i showed you put this forward and then how cool is this you've got a little rocker card everybody a oh, rocker chair i should say so the idea this is going to score along there like so and then what you do how cool is that a little rocking chair um yes sue i think we've got some embossing tools yes you can have it we'll add it to your list uh tonight cara there isn't any alice in wonderland goodies that is on next week's show we have fairy tale goodies coming up okay and we have had some enchanted garden okay so carol says it's nice to watch a nice face like yours to hear the office stuff and a thank you for dave oh carol bless you uh linda says have you gotten the three-in-one glue in yes we have uh, not much left i would say so if you want a three-in-one glue put it down on the list and we'll add it to your invoice so as you can see i've put the three-in-one glue on here and then what you need to do is press this down and three-in-one glue sticks very quickly so you need to make sure you slide it in place 
leave it for a few seconds while it grabs it make sure you line it up oops see i even don't know how to line it up there we go make sure you line it up on both sides and then what you do is do the same on this side so this everybody is a corner card because it creates a corner effect i do these quite often so this everybody is the base so you can see that if you wanted to go flat can you see you've got a line down the middle so i'm just going to because i forgot to score that okay so what i'm going to do is quickly score that i should have done it all together but never mind what's the saying you should practice what you preach so that's going to go down there um loads of people are ordering three in one glue totally fine so what you need to do is make sure you score it and then fix it on so i've already put the glue on i might need to put a bit more but that should work like so so that is that part. Now, these are great ideas for children. Oops, I need a bit more glue. It's dried. I've got the heating going on in the background because it was quite chilly. Because we're in a room in the off back room of the office near the warehouse. There we go. So that goes on there. Slide it into place. Make sure that stands up. Don't cover the score line. And then what you tend to do is you work flat so there's going to get loads of different sentiments you've got ele elements that you can add you can decoupage can you see so this is part of it i'm just showing you how to do the technique now i did have some foam pads oh there we go i asked sharon to get me some foam pads because i was running out now um you'll be all happy to know that we've got our fabulous pricking tools back in stock everybody because i know they were out of stock somebody rang up today and what have I done with my pricking tool? Honestly, talk about losing it. I think I need to get my little kit all sorted of what I've done with it. Oh, I think I might have to get Sharon to get me a pricking tool. Right, we'll have to get that in a second. I'm just using that. I'll show you how easy it is to use a pricking tool in a second. Right, I've got more questions coming through. Okay. Um, oh, Lena says, I made one of the corner cards with a lady on in the garden. Yes, totally. So this, okay, you can see that you can add dimension, you can add dimension tree, and then you can put a sentiment on. And this, the idea of this particular one is you then put this on here. And I just want to show you how easy it is then to create your corner card. You then build it up that way. So this creates this lovely effect and then I can add more sentiments in and it will go completely flat in an envelope so that's how you do a corner card everybody so that was the kit I've only just quickly show you the concept and um, the like and share is tell me what dimensional card is your favorite Betty and um, what's on the table oh the pricking tools on the table um, I can only see the embossing tool on a bone folder so I don't know where the pricking tool is um, Dave is going to quickly ask Sharon to get me a pricking tool because I've got loads of them. Right, okay. Lorraine says, love the corner card. Never heard of one before. It looks beautiful. It is. Uh, Kim says, rang up, but your staff got the website sorted and I managed to order my pricking tool. Oh, Kim, it was you. Yes. Uh, and um, it was Sharon, basically, yeah, because um, for some reason um, it, the new stock wasn't added, but we got there. Right, okay. So it is great fun. You can add more elements. The idea is just a little bit of fun going to move that to one side so that was our dimensional floral kit because you can get you've got those seam cards now remember I was talking to you about the shed so this is pad this is in the kit as well I love this kit oh there you go Dave's brought me a, a pricking tool watch it I'll find it at the bottom of my bag and I probably have about five in there uh, how does it fold well at the moment you need that to dry but if what did I do with the grot the one from journey um wonderland alice and one not alice what was it amazing world of oz so if i show you how that's fold the pricking tools are 3.99 so how it folds that needs to dry even though we've used three in one glue before you move it any further you need to let it dry for at least 10 minutes before you can fold it but how it folds you remember i showed you the score line it lifts up and it falls like so okay some collections you can get boxes you can do display boxes in it um but that's how fun it is so hopefully that makes sense Right, okay. Uh, Linda says, I've made the corner card and display box. Love it. It is really lovely, isn't it, Linda? Okay, right. So going back to this, everybody, what I wanted to show you is this was just a shape card of a shed card. So this is in the kit. 
Now, if you ever want to do dimensional, what you need to do is draw the outside of your card and then put a score line to make a stand. So can you imagine you can do this technique at Christmas with a Christmas tree shape? Do you know what I mean? Or you can do it if you're doing Easter eggs, you could do the same option. Always put the score line just about, I would say, well, I don't know what that is, um, half an inch, Dave says, and then literally it will stand up. This particular one obviously has doors and decoupage. So this is a shed in this kit, which is FB4, sorry, FB540. Right, okay, what have I missed? Um, Robbie says, well, you made the Konica look so easy. Never seen one before. We'll definitely have to try it myself. It really is good. Okay, so I am going to move that to one side. And that is FB540. The next one that we have, okay, I was asked to put this back. I do love roses. It's a magic kit, everybody, with a forever code. And this is actually less than half price. So what we have is the Medi collection, if you love your dyes. Normally $31.98. And what I love about it is the colour palette. So it is the Match It Dye and Pad, as you can see, with a forever code, which means it'll never run out, everybody. And this is FB541. And as you can see here, okay, you're going to get all these dies. I don't know how many it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 dies. That is great for $14.99, but it doesn't stop there because you are going to get this, okay? And what I love about the fact is, okay, how gorgeous are these colours? I mean, I love that colour. That is just lovely. I love, obviously, it's got a hint of pink, but it's orange. Uh, I've got loads more people saying they didn't know that um, <laughs> about corner cards and now they love it. Brilliant. Barbara says, nearly missed you, forgot what day it was. Sorry, no problem. Hi, Barbara. You'll have to watch them on, on catch up. Loads of people are ordering this. Good, because I will say there's 30, but it looks like I've sold maybe 15. But look at the colour palette, everybody. Look how gorgeous. Blue and pink. Who knew? But these are great because these will never run out. Forever code means that you'll get the pad okay you will get the dies so you can die cut it out dead easily okay but look at the shapes you know it is just so much fun you've got extra sentiments and then if i go to the back we have what we call the card fronts and the idea behind them are and i'm just going to do this i'm not going to show you the last page because that's where the forever code is look how cool is that yellow and purple gorgeous color combinations so you can then create your own cars i mean that would be lovely for a wedding even so um and then okay i've got oh karen says been making these cars today love them they're great aren't they karen so look you can just make it simplified you can 3d it add more dimension to it you can add uh using your phone pads you can create a corner because that's actually been added to that okay or you can use your mdf how cool is that i love that incorporate in sentiments and make a 3d effect uh fran says oh i need to remind everybody about facebook changes thank you fran so for all those people um that are just well i'm going to say all but anybody that's just joined us just now we were talking at the beginning of the show that facebook has changed and it was a nightmare for me at the beginning of the week when i was trying to do posts and things like that what i'm trying to say is if you've liked my page before okay because uh, before you could either follow a page or like a page but what Facebook has done is if you've liked the page you are no longer connected to my page they're getting rid of what well, they've already got rid of likes so you have to follow the page I mean you don't have to follow me unless you want to if you want to follow me and be notified of when I'm doing Facebook live shows or what's going on you'll see at the top right hand corner there's a little bell if you click on that you'll get notifications from it but if you want to follow me, because I will say to you, if you're not too sure if you liked the page before or follow me, I would just follow again, okay, just in case you hadn't, because what Facebook have done is they've got rid of it. So we had thousands of people that liked the page and for some reason didn't follow the page, but they're no longer connected to my Facebook. So what you need to make sure is if you want to be up to date with what's going on, look at the top right hand side get the little bell and you'll be notified or if you want to follow the page follow the page hopefully that makes sense to everybody uh victoria says i use them on a hanging heart and card for my mum for mother's day oh victoria that is great right i've been told that i need to continue so going back to fb541 everybody okay uh that is the match at medi rose now the next one coming up i will pre-warn you 
it is going to be first come first serve okay because it's a with end of line so this is this has been on and this is why it's such a reasonable price normally 22.99 it's 9.99 so you're going to get the paper pad and you're going to get the die and you're going to get one two three four five six on this one and I mean, I love that one. Look at the dimension you can create. OK, so if you like fox gloves and you want this one, please put this on. But I will say I think I've only got about 12. So first come first serve on that. OK, um, for those people who have just joined, you will probably have to watch on catch up so you can see the color combinations that you're going to get. It is just so beautiful. I remember it comes with a forever code. So for those people who are going for this, it will never run out. And it's because it's the end of line. I found it. We had it on a few months ago. But I think I've got 12 left. It looks like I'm now sold out. So I am just going to move on, everybody. And as I said, it's first come, first serve. So it's FB454. No, FB542. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. And then I'll put them to one side. Uh, somebody said, Hi, we've been making cards for my friends. They love them. And have asked if they could buy some. Is this allowed? Of course they can. Whoever's just asked me that question and I've missed it. Okay, everybody. Uh, just let's talk about my angel policy those people that don't know years and years ago and how many years ago is this I don't know uh, my company is 11 years old so it must be at least 15 years ago when I got into card making I used to go around to my local shops and I used to do a seller return do some cards leave it with them and then go back a month later and see what they sold so I want you to not only just enjoy all my creations, OK, as long as you actually make something, don't print the sheets off and sell the sheets. You can make as many as you want for charity or for yourself to enjoy and sell. And this is the beauty about having dimension. You know, you can have boxes with a matching card, a grocery card with an envelope. They will love it. OK, and when we get to do craft fates again. You know the beauty about it i've got loads of people that say to me i go and i do craft fates so i can buy more products why not you know enjoy it not only do you create for yourself and for presents that you give but also you're very welcome our angel policy is quite open if you're not too sure just ring we do have a licensing department but for crafting if you're just doing it for craft base uh craft shows as in um what they call church fates and everything like that that is totally fine and loads of people put them on etsy as well and people sell them that way hopefully that answers the question uh colin says what is the cd of the man behind you we're doing that one now actually um right okay so behind me you would have seen some enchanted garden okay dave's going to quickly spin around while i answer to the question um Angela says debbie just got my invoice from last week there is one item on fine lady card kit i did not order last week so angela if there's an item on there delete it if you didn't want it just delete it okay because that's the beauty about it everybody is when you get your invoices you can add to it or you can delete on it and this is the beauty about the new system shadia says debbie caroline never answered what i'm being charged fat why i'm being charged fat shadia anybody that orders from my website OK, that is the price that we have to include. You know, that is if you went and bought it from a different web website in the UK, they're the chart, they're the prices. So unfortunately, that is how we are. Um, unless you are a trader, um, but you would still have to you still be charged VAT. So we have to charge VAT on all sales. Um, if you're not 100 percent sure, um, please send an email and we'll try to explain it further. Uh, look, Kara says, Lorraine Hamilton just emailed her with your address, etc., to go to her page and sign up. Okay, so Lorraine, if you want me to recap on how, um, I'll recap in a few minutes because I am just going to do this next section. And then what I'm going to do is, I've just realized this has not got a CD case. Uh, so what I'm going to do is show you this next one, which is the fairy tale. We should have seen that behind. And then I'll explain how the system works, okay? because I do know we've got quite a few newbies on here. Um, right, okay, so the next item is, and this is really excited, okay, because this has been out of stock for a while. And what we have is we have a CD, a USB key. Uh, it's a double CD ROM because you need dimension. And then we have the USB key as well. So whether you want a CD or a USB key, it's normally, look at the price, 29.98. So what we've done, is we have given you two cds okay oh i've been told i had them the wrong way around 
Look, I'm terrible. Sorry, everybody. Um, Hannah says, I tried selling cards, uh, but then a kid with what? So went out the window. I don't know. I think I missed that, Hannah. Um, I've got Margaret saying hello from the USA. Hi, Margaret. Okay. Um, and then what I've done here, and Lorraine, I think it might be easier if we actually have a look, ring the office tomorrow, and we can get that sorted out. Okay. So, FB543 is a double CD-ROM, normally $29.98, and you're going to get a total of How Cool's That? 2,600 printable elements on a fairy tale theme. Or, if you love your USB keys, it's the same price. Look, at normally nearly £30. It is $12.99, everybody. Let me show you. And we've got a... Oh, my goodness. I need to show you this one as well because this is amazing. I need more room. doesn't matter how much room Dave gives me. I think I always need more. So look how cool these are so you've obviously got our take on cinderella beauty and the beast how gorgeous that that's one of my favorite storylines okay uh jenny just joined and said hi all a wee bit late hi jenny okay you'll have to watch and catch up i've got obviously snow white look how cool that is for a side scene isn't that just beautiful okay add a little bit of twinkle this is stardust oh, actually no yeah this is stardust chameleon glitter on her dress it is just so gorgeous i just bought this on one cd terry's pot <laughs> uh, well it is a gorgeous collection but we've just got it on promotion now uh rapunzel with her long hair and then what we've done is we've got rocker cards there's rapunzel again how lovely i love the backing papers it really is good you know you can actually do your own books and do different things uh, and then what we've got pillar boxes so if you are doing you know you might want to be doing i don't know you know somebody who loves snow white you can do matching boxes as well how cute are the envelopes so everything's pre-done you just print it out cut it and put it together all the score lines are there for you to create and this is the beauty about it everything's there now i'm going to be showing you how to do the slider cards okay it won't take long to do so i'm going to show you that in a second because we're nearly running out the other thing that i want to show you is this amazing kit um which is fb545 which is the mega kit and the reason why it's a mega kit because it is a mega kit because not only okay everybody do you get cards and envelopes it comes in a box it's a cut of forever code now yours will be printed on 150 gsm for the card and 100 and 50 gsm edge to edge for the paper michelle says first time watching welcome michelle okay so welcome to our crazy crafting world i'm going to be demonstrating how to do a slider card in a second just to go through this kit everybody so this is also a little sneak of what is on the cd and usb key so obviously that is the part of the side scene you've got shaped cards there is that somebody asked me where that he is so as you can see it's on there and as i'm going through it this is a slider card which i'm going to show you how to do I've got shape cards, more slider cards, because I love slider cards. They're so much fun. So you've got the dimension aspect, and there's that rocker card. Now, remember, this is one big kit. There's that lovely side scene that I was showing you. Um, as you can see there, you've got everything. Um, and as you can see that we've got on here, that we've got the side scene elements for all Snow White. Obviously, you've got, uh, I forgot what this is. This is um, Aladdin, Aladdin and something. The 40 Nights, no, 40 Thieves. Oh my goodness, Alibaba, that was it. So as you got, you got shaped cards again and you've got the step-by-step -step instructions, but it doesn't stop there. That was one kit. And then look, you've got decoupage. It is just, how much is this kit, Mayor says? The kit, everybody, is only $17.99. Normally $35.99. It's the fairy tale mega kit with forever code. And I'm still going. So we have got design sheets on here, as you can see. Um, Karen says, sorry, missed the number for the USB key. Can't see it. So the USB key, if you like the USB key, there's the number. FB544. Is that right? FB544. And that's the USB key if you want that. So going back to here so you can actually see. Um, we have got um, on here is we have got, as you've got design sheets, ribbon strips, and we have got more elements on there as we go through it. We've got toppers. We've got them in different shades. We've got decoupage, 
more toppers, more decoupage, more beautiful quotes. You know, I love these quotes that you can incorporate. These are the A6 cards that you can use, okay? And then the backing papers. Now, remember, the backing papers, you will not have a white edge. And it's 150 GSM that you'll get. There's more and more. And then you're going to get cards and envelopes. And look at that. You are going to get all these papers, everybody, for that amazing price of $17.99. Uh, Susan, there isn't a match it died for this kit. I'm sorry. Um, how much is a CD version? Pauline's just asked. So that is the paper kit. Then we have the USB key and then we have the CD kit. So what I'm going to quickly do is show you how to do, because only one item left uh, on this show. I'm going to show you, I'm going to put this here, the side seam. So, no, sorry, the slider card. And what have I missed? Um... So, yes, Carol, you're just going to have to catch up on it. Um, could do with a drink, but can't miss out, Michelle's pot, bless you. Well, not long now, okay? We've probably got another 20, well, 15 minutes or so, and then we're coming. Now, aside a slider card, somebody asked me to do this this week, so I'm doing it for you. So, as you can see, in the paper kit, but it's also on the USB key and the CD, is the dimensional slider cards. It tells you where to cut. It gives you the elements, and it, then you can decoupage it. And we have one here that's been done, so you can see that we've got that option that she can slide across there. I'll just hold it there, so you can see. Right, so put that to one side. I want to show you how this is done. Uh, Nola says, love this demo. You always make the slider cards look easy. They are very easy to do. So the elements have been cut out, so I've got her on the magic carpet. I've got my sentiment that I want to go up there, and I have got my pulley that's going to go there. You get extras. You can put that on the end if you want to. You can decoupage the elements if you want, and this is just off one sheet. So remember, if you're going for your card kit or your digital uh, CD or USB key, you're going to be able to create this. So what I want to show you is how easy it is, okay? Because this technique can be done with anything. So what I want to do to start off with is this is done called a letterbox technique. And what that means is you actually get, because I want to show you how you can create with it all your other creations. Now, I use a paper trimmer. You can use a knife and a ruler. I'm starting at uh, 16 centimetres and just going to four. Okay. And then what you need to do is pull it down a little bit, put that back down, start on four and go to 16 like so. So you can see I've put a little strip in there like that. And then somewhere under here, I have some small scissors. I really do need to have a good sort. There we go. And then, okay, look at this. I just cut the edge like that. And this is called, everybody, letterbox technique because of obvious reasons. Now then, what I'm then going to do is this is the mechanism for slider cards so i'm just going to do one and show you and what i want to do i've done it on here because then i'm going to transfer in here now when i was a kid we called these jumping jumping frogs but also apparently anybody who is into um uh, sewing is called a box pleat or if you're into maths it's called an omega sign so literally i've cut a strip like so. I've done this and what you need to do is trim it down like so. Cut to the edge. Can you see that everybody? So that looks like that. Can you see? When I was at school they were called jumping frogs. <laughs> so and apparently it's called a box pleat in sewing. Uh, um, it looks like an omega sign doesn't it? That is what you put through that. Can you see? And that is what you would then attach at the back of there to do the pulley. And that is how easy it does to make side scenes. So I'm just going to quickly put this together. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. And then what we've got, so this I've already started to cut out there. And then what I need to do is snip this off like so. So let's do that one first. So just snip that off. You can continue and use your uh, ruler and knife if you want to do it that way. Looks like I've just short a little, I've cut a little bit short on there. Let's cut this off there. Like so. There we go. There we go. So there's that there. 
then I've got my omega sign so that goes through like so now the trick is to make sure can you see I can see that white so you could if you wanted to just trim that down but you do need to have almost that butterfly effect on the back because what you're going to do is put that in there like that and then what I'm doing is having her on the flying on the flying carpet turn this over everybody and put this on here now you can use three in one glue okay however I sometimes tend to use tape because it's quicker I'm trying to get my tape that's stuck down below I really need to get it sorted right okay so I've just got some my red liner tape oh my goodness I cannot find the end I'll be healed here right I'm going to use three in one glue right any messages that I've missed let me know it is easy Susan have a go okay so I'm just putting some glue be careful not to glue both parts together so I've just put a bit on either side probably a bit too much but never mind so this is going to go like that now can you see how this is moving up and down you don't want that I'm going to this will take a few minutes so what you then do is you cut you make almost like a hinge so then what you do is put that on there and that there so put a little bit of glue at the end like so and that stops the actual ribbon strip from falling and doing that okay so I'm putting it there have that like that nobody's going to see the back obviously I put too much glue on if I turn this over you can see how it's sliding very easy isn't it and then I shouldn't have put too much glue on let's put her on put the glue on put that on there have a I'm gonna have her like that at an angle now so that is it straightforward now what's very important so now you get the gist of the slider card is the next bit foam pads everybody what is very important is this mechanism has to be free so you need to remember that you're not going to put anything in that area okay can you see that so what you need to do so I'm using my pricking tool is I am um, whoops I actually want that side let's take this oh my goodness there's always one so that's my foam pad going to go along there and then I'll get bigger ones along there I do like bigger foam pads because it makes it easy have that on that and what you're going to do is you're going to make sure can you see this has to go all the way to the end so it won't go any further so you can put a foam pad on there but make sure it's not too big right okay so I'm just getting my oh, honestly there we go I didn't cut it properly so that's going there that's going there it's not going to affect this area we'll have one more foam pad on there and then take the top off that's going to go there and then take the tops off this is the bit that I love just push to walk away from you and the top will come off like that there you go so take that off like that and remember it is such an easy technique get your card fold it in half now obviously you trim it down I'm just doing it very quickly everybody so you can get the gist um, and then what I'm doing is put that on that like so okay right everywhere so obviously I could trim it down but you get the idea I think on the other one I trimmed it down but look at that dead easy right okay any questions on that please ask but have a go just remember think about everything that you can actually create how easy was it to do that? How easy was it to do the Mega Sign? Um, somebody says, Debbie, should the fairy tale CD be $7.99 because it's down at $12.99, same as a USB key? No. no, no, because it's a brand new range, okay? The promotion is $12.99. You're getting two CDs, not one, okay? You're getting this CD. It's not in the case, sorry, everybody. You're going to get two. If it was one CD, then I would agree with you, but you're getting two. 
And this one on here, you get in two. Can you see? Two collections. So you're going to get two CDs, which is why it is $12.99. Hopefully that makes sense. Oh, Noel has put that on there as well. Thank you. Uh, Denise says, love slider cards. They keep children and men entertained for ages. <gasps> so true, Denise. Right, everybody. Hopefully I've given you some inspiration with Dimensional from creating wherever that side scene's gone, from showing you how easy it is to create your own side scenes from nothing with no measuring to doing corner cards to doing slider cards to even a little bit of fun with mdf uh somebody asked me if i had one last item and then we're going to do the giveaways everybody um somebody asked me if we had any of my nesting dies of the rectangles back in stock and i found some but there's only about 30 or 40 left everybody so if you remember what I said to you about whoever's collecting the nesting dies, and under all this is a piece of paper. Where is it? Oh, no. Can't even remember where it is. Typical. I've lost it. Let, this was all tidy. Where is it? Right, let me find the piece of paper that tells me what everything is. There it is. So, this item, normally $11.99 is $6.99, okay? And it is first come, first serve. I don't know what I've done with the piece of paper, so I'm going to write it on here. What is it? It's FB546, and it is normally $11.99, and is now $6.99. So I've done it on a special promotion for everybody, and then we're going to do the giveaways. Okay. So if anybody, um, I'm sorry, I can't remember the person that asked about this. So this is the Match It die. Now remember what we're doing by the, uh, all the new stuff coming out from, uh, from the end of, I think it's May. You'll be able to use your nesting dies as well as creation frames. So this is it, FB546. Normally it is $11.99, it is $6.99. Um, should be 544 fairy tale USB key. What have I missed? The fairy tale USB key is, if you want to know what the fairy tale USB key, it is 544. That is right. So going back to this, what I love about the nesting um, dies is, yes, you can do your match it frames, your mat and layering, but then you can actually do the single frames or you can increase it. So can you see that if I wanted to frame that wide, I would just cut that one and that one together. So what I love about this, this is great for scrapbooking, card making, memory books, as well as card making. So remember, if anybody wants one of these, it is FB546. First one, first come. Sharon's book, thanks for staying sure. Cleared my head after an afternoon on Zoom. Oh, bless you. Well, hopefully I've given you a little bit of inspiration on Dimensional, everybody. Um, don't go away. I'm just going to recap to these newbies on how the show works, okay? Because it is a bit chaos. And, you know, when it's your first time, you think, oh, my goodness, where do I start? You know, we started doing these Facebook shows last, I think, April. And it's kind of snowballed and developed over the last few months. And now we have this kind of pattern where it's an inspirational show, it's a selling show, and it's a giveaway show because everybody watching, and I mean everybody watching, gets a present, okay, for you to enjoy. So let me just explain how this goes. So with regard to, we're going to go through for you newbies how it works. Now remember, everybody has had a code, so you can see every time I show you a product, there is a code, even if I've handwritten it because I don't know what I've done with the actual elements on that. So when you actually want something, you write in the comment box because you can watch it back and you can put the things in that you want. OK, it's first come, first serve. There's a couple of items that might have sold out, uh, but still, if you want, want it, put it down because you might actually get it. So it's, you put the code in. And as it says on here, when the show's finished, please private message me your email address and your postal address. And then what we'll do is that will enable me to invoice you when the show's closed and set up an account. Oh, my voice is going, I think. Uh, the show is left open until next Monday, everybody, because not everybody can watch it on catch up. So please don't expect the invoice until the middle of next week, because then what we'll do is we will email you with whatever you've ordered and you'll be able to click on it and see it. OK. And then if you don't want it, you can delete it. Or if you want to add other things to it, you can. OK. And then, you know, the idea behind it is if you have a discount code, you can put that to get your discount or you want to pay by credit card, debit card and PayPal. Now, if you haven't got the invoice from like two weeks, 
At the moment, we are behind with our admin emails and Facebook. We you know we're getting there. We were about 600 messages behind. I think we're now about maybe 300. So please bear with us. But the best way to, if you want an answer straight away is 01325 469049. Did I say that right? 465049. Our new website, and this is very important, okay, it is debbiemoredesigns.com. So hopefully that makes sense to you newbies. If you're not too sure, you can always ring the office and we'll talk you through it. Now, I am now going to pick some people for some giveaways and I'm going to give a card away. But then I'm going to give you a secret code, which I don't know what I've done with a sheet. Oh, there it is. A secret code um, for a present. So first of all, I'm going to pick some people. Um, Christine says you need a week for your voice to recover. Well, I'm back on Creating Craft next Wednesday. I'm actually doing that from Zoom. And then on the 30th of March, I'll be traveling back down to the studio. So um, I think it's because I just talk all the time and I'm reading all your comments. Hopefully you've all been inspired. Um, and Camilla said, is 546 a step rectangle? No, this is not a step rectangle. This one here, uh, Camilla, is just a normal rectangle. The step rectangle is much bigger and it's different. This is totally different. This is just a standard rectangle. Hopefully that answers. Uh, lots of people saying that they're enjoying the show and uh, and you've been making cards and got loads of new ideas. Well, that's the whole idea behind the show. You know, hopefully I've given you a little bit of inspiration and shared with you some top tips because, you know, it has been a hard year for a lot of people. It's been so challenging. And these Facebook Lives hopefully give you a little bit I was going to say a breath of fresh air, but I'll be honest, a bit of craziness because I do know it can be manic, but lots and lots of fun. Because here at Debbie Moore Designs, you know, we work really hard. And I always say this, you customers out there are the heart of my business. And without you, I wouldn't be here. So it's a little thank you for all your support that you've been giving me. Like more messages coming through. I will have a look and see where we are with everything. But let's pick some giveaways. Right. OK. So let me choose somebody. So I'll just pick somebody. Right. OK. So the person that I'm going to ring is a uh, ring win even Carol uh, Wilson. Congratulations. You've won the hundred pound giveaway. Now, it's very important because I was speaking to Jessica today that if you win a prize, even though, OK, everybody, you know that you we've got your details. The problem is, I don't know, Carol, if there's two Carol Wilsons. So please just send me your private message, me your postal address and just say I've won a prize. I uh, won a prize on the 11th of March show. And then that way we can allocate it because I think we had um, Jessica was trying to send a prize out and we had two people on <laughs> on our on our uh, server, on our customer list with the same name. So we didn't know who it was. So I think she's trying to look, investigate. So it's easy if you send me your details. So let's pick somebody else. OK. Oh, let's see. Right. The next person I'm going to pick uh, who's going to win here. Now, I hope I've said your name right. Cheryl Stainrod. Stainrod. Hopefully I've said that right, Carol. Uh, sorry, Cheryl. Uh, congratulations. You have won a little giveaway. Please private message me your postal address. And let's go and pick somebody else. So the next person that we are going to pick on here, it is a uh, Rosina Till. Rosina, congratulations, you won a little giveaway. So let's see somebody else. So then we are going to pick uh, a Sherry Moore. So Sherry, hopefully um, I pronounced that right. Uh, I'm really bad at names, okay, but you've got to forgive me. I'm reading very quickly and uh, my pronunciation is not always the best, but I'm sure um, you're going to let me off. Right, how many more? I need one more giveaway and then I need to pick somebody else. So then the next person that I'm going to pick, it is a, uh, a Pat Dealer Piumba Scambia. <laughs> Pat, hopefully, okay, I have uh, picked, I've said your name right, okay. But congratulations, you have won one of my giveaways. And then I'm going to pick somebody for a card. And the person that I'm going to pick for a card, it is a Trina Edley. OK, so that is those giveaways. But don't go because now I want to talk to you about the secret code. Now, for you newbies, this was an idea. Bless my grandfather. I came up with the idea when I was my, in my early teens and he used to do secret treasure hunts. So I thought uh, it'd be fun 
provided a treasure hunt for everybody. So it just keeps you preoccupied and looking forward to Fridays. So what I'm going to do is give you a code and that code will enable you to get a present, you know, only the people watching. We don't advertise it, so only people watching Facebook Live shows will get this code, which means that you'll get the present to download. And what that means on here, okay, everybody, when you actually, um, tomorrow, what will happen around 2.30, 3 o'clock, there'll be a post put on my Facebook to say that the gift is there. And all you need to do, by the way, is look for... Go, I'm going to show you where you're going. You're going to go into the members section, but all you need to do is go into the members section of printable downloads and you'll see it'll say, um, I'm not telling you what it is because it's a surprise. You only find out when you hunt for it because it's a treasure hunt, okay? So you will find it and it'll say, for example, something, something, card making kit for the 11th of March Facebook show. So you then know that the secret code that we're going to show you in a second matches that. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't want you to think we're being mean. We've had people ring up before wanting to know what the secret code was. Well, no, you know, the catch is you have to hunt for it, okay, you know. Uh, and we only, so we tell people you have to watch the Facebook Live show. Now, somebody was asking earlier that they couldn't find a one for um, one in February. This is where you go, okay. So Dave's going to show you now. Uh, loads of people are putting me loads of messages. The idea is that for the treasure hunt surprise, the secret code for this week is FB Mar Garden. Okay, that should be very easy. Hopefully, that is how easy it, it, it is. FB Mar Garden. And all you need to do is from 2.30 tomorrow, it's go to website, the, my website, then printable downloads, then members. And in that section, you'll find loads of images and you'll search for the Facebook date. Like I mentioned, my website is debbiemoredesigns.com. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. And you can actually uh, hunt out your little presents. It's just a little gift from me to say thank you for your continued support. Uh, the only catch is you need to make some cards with it and send it to somebody, you know, who's in isolation or you haven't seen somebody, a relative, a friend. It's Mothering Sunday, is it this weekend, you know. Um, I hope you spend, you have a lovely uh, weekend with your mother or whoever relative that you send them a card. And even if, like me, unfortunately, we haven't got, um, I mean, my mother passed away last year, uh, send somebody else a card, okay? So I think it's just a little gift to say thank you from me and Dave for your continued support and just to keep you busy at the weekend. So that's enough for, for me for tonight. I hope you've been inspired and had loads of fun and got loads of ideas and got your crafting juices going, which is the whole idea of these Facebook Live shows. I'll be back here next Thursday. Don't forget to look at the top left, no, top right corner and click on that notifications because I'm going to be start putting more videos and Facebook Live shows on in the coming weeks. And that will tell you when I'm next on. I've got loads of likes coming through. Thank you, everybody for all your likes and your support and i will see you hopefully next thursday here or on creating craft i think i'm on let me have a think 2 15 yes 2 15 and 7 30 next wednesday on creating craft tv uh and then i'm back here at 6 30 and i've been told this is what we're going to do martha wants me to do a k card and then i've been asked to do a grotto card i've been asked to do a pop-up card and I think uh, and Linda's asked me to do book folding. That's going to be in a few weeks' time. And I think that's it. So I've got my notes. So uh, lastly, look after yourself. Take care. Stay safe. Enjoy. I was going to say enjoy the spring weather. Well, whatever weather. But enjoy crafting this weekend. God bless you all. Take care. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.